All right, let's start from the beginning. And we need training music for that. In just a second. Training music. Where's the training music? Uh, oh, must fall. Give me a second. I, we need to watch. They have the perfect jam in the background for this. Uh, beat the stage. Dot the stage. Uh, where is he? Harvest festivals. But... Okay, let's look at this one. Let's put this one on. All right. Okay. Street Fighter. First of all, you need to know your buttons. Your buttons have two main properties. They can be light, medium, or heavy. And they can be kicks or punches. Hey, how's it going, Stay Crunchy? This is a light attack. This is a medium attack. This is a heavy attack. Light attack, medium attack, heavy attack. As you can see, lighter attacks are faster but usually shorter. So, medium attacks are a little bit more reaching, but they are a little bit slower. Heavy attacks are very slow, some of them, and you can, um, they take a lot of time to recover, as you can see. There's extra two states you can have, which is jumping, which you can use all your attacks, as you can see here. Work almost the same. And crouching. Alright, those are your buttons. Then, there's movement, forward and backwards. In certain fighting games, you need to press a button to block. In this case, the way to block is by holding back. Or by holding down back. That way, you block. So let me show you how that feels. Let's put him this spot to guard everything. If I do a heavy attack, she must be holding back to be able to block this attack. If I do an attack that is crouching, she will have to crouch block, meaning down back, to block this attack. So, if you can block everything, then how do I open up someone, right? So, each block, you can grab them, of course, but each block has its own particular weaknesses. So, Rose now is going to block high everything, okay? So all my high attacks, including my jumps, will be blocked, but not my low attacks. So is she blocking high or walking backwards, then she's not blocking low, therefore she's open for a punish. So the same with crouch block. If we put her block, hey, uh, Thanks for the follow, Nation. Did I say that right? I hope so. Okay. So, this is gonna obviously not do anything. Because she's crouching block. What about high attacks? Oh, okay. Oh, this is really good. It covers two options. What about this? This, this. Wow. Okay, what can I do? There's two things. That crouching block... Ha, ah, he's listening to me. There's two things uh, that crouching block is uh, uh, weak against. One is, of course, grab. And the other is overheads. Overhead is a special type of attack that requires you to press a direction and then a button. Usually it's forward something, forward and medium attack. That is the general rule. There are other characters that have um, uh, overheads with... Uh, heavy attacks, and there are other characters that had, don't have heavy attacks, uh, overheads at all. Kage does have one, and it's for medium punch. So as you can see, it's gonna block all my attacks, but not this. As you can see, opened. 
This is not convertible into anything, so I cannot convert this into anything. But if I do a jump, I can convert it to this. So, we have in one hand, we have punches and kicks and mediums and heavies and lights and crouching and jumping and standing attack, right? Those are your attacks. On the other hand, you have your defensive capabilities, your normal defensive capabilities, which crouch blocking and back blocking. That is your main way of defending yourself. There are other capabilities that we are not going to talk about right now because there's something that's much more important. So, is can you press buttons against a crouching opponent free? Like, I can do this. Free. No punish. Not exactly. As you can see, every time the opponent blocks, there is something that happened in the background. Do you see the red bars? This one's over here? Those, well, or orange. Orange, yeah. It's red, orangey bars. So those bars means that you are unable to perform an action at that particular moment. If I press a light attack and she blocks, that light, that bar is a little bit quicker, is it? Because we both can get into the game, press a button, move, do whatever, quicker if I press a light attack and that gets blocked. If I do a medium, it's going to take more time for both to recover. And if I do a heavy attack, even more. So, what does this mean? There are certain buttons that allow you to do these things for free. And the only thing that you will be paying is spacing. So if I press this button, I am plus three. That means that I am safe. That's all you need to know. Safe means that they cannot press any button and punish you after that button got blocked. So what do I pay for that plus, plus three? I get pushed back. As you can see, I am no longer face to face with Bros. But I can do this again. And then I have to surrender more space. Now I cannot use this. And therefore I am not plus three anymore because I am throwing this into the air, mid air. And he presses a button when I am retracting my punch. She will punish me. But don't get that into that just just yet. So what what is my point? There will be situations where you will be blocking and they will be extremely open for stuff. Extremely open. Let me show you. Let's make a rose here. Uh, block everything and also be able to block everything doesn't matter where it comes it will block everything except grabs of course they're not blockable so what we're gonna do we're, not, we're gonna make Rose do something very unsafe and that something very unsafe is going to be crushing heavy kick which is something that is pretty much common for everyone in the cast. So... This is play by recording. Let's put this and... All right. So... Let's put this here. So she's clearly blocking, right? Okay, blocking, right? Let's take a look at that, um, that number over here. 15. What does this mean? This means that that attack leaves me with 15 frames of advantage. In uh, simple terms, that means that that's very unsafe. Very unsafe. So if I'm here, I can punish it. No, you cannot block that. Oh, I, I didn't punish correctly there. There it is. I can I can even do this. 
if I'm this close, I, I can do this. It is hella insane. So, disclaimer, don't use this. The only way you can make a crouching heavy kick safe? Let's look at that. Guard recovery. So each guard recovery here is going to be a heavy kick. Nope. So we're going to make this guy, this bot, punish us for a heavy kick if, if it gets blocked. Alright, so... Okay, it's blocking. So it got recovery. Boom, boom. All right. If I press heavy kick, I'm blocking. You see, you see here on, on the hitbox right here. I'm blocking. So if I press heavy kick, I'm going to be minus 15 approximately. And Rose will be able to punish me. I cannot do anything about this. Look at this. I cannot do anything. I can press buttons. Nothing. I can press more. No. I can creep. Smash the SCP. No. Grab. No. Nothing. If she blocks this, I'm dead. That's it. But the same goes if I do something that is less unsafe. What if she's contesting everything with crouching heavy kick? And then I rather rather than do crouching heavy kick myself, I do this. Punish. That my friends is the basic concept of punishing. Punishing means that your opponent did something so unsafe that he has to wait more time than you to get access to move his character. Therefore, you can move first. If you can move first, you can press first. If you can move first, he cannot block your attack. Therefore, a punish and shoes. That's what happened. Let's do that again. Block. She's blocking everything. In fact, if I miss time that punish, she's gonna block it. Look at. See. And she's perfect guard. Everything will be blocked. Everything. So that is the basic concept of punishing. So, so what do I do with this? It's just only one kick, right? Get a lot of this. There is another thing. Most of people like to use uh, Shoto characters, which have a uh, fireball. IDP and Atatsu movement, usually. So, most people like to do something that's called in the industry as EX Wake Up DP or Wake Up DP. So, DPs here are this. This movement is really powerful. The problem is, is that it's really unsafe. And the highest button you use, light, medium heavy is the unsafer it gets i'm going to do a light dp and this rose is going to just throw a heavy kick what happened punished i cannot i actually cannot do anything about that if i do medium that punish is not going to work because i'm going to be up there if I do this, that works because it takes more time. If I do this, also not gonna work. If I do this, not gonna work. So, but that doesn't mean other things are not gonna work. So this is when it comes to comboing. So you need three types of combos, three. So let's make something, let's make go it all. Let's wake up actions. Um, let's do the equivalent of the SCP with ropes. Zero snooze. I thought this was gonna be five minutes. LOL. 
Okay, that's not... Yeah, but sometimes I, I, I get to, uh... Oh, no. Is it with kick or punch? Okay, that works. Well, that, that's a that's a reversal move. Let's uh let's punish it. So, if people people like to do stuff like this. Oh crap! I didn't activate it. Uh, guard recovery. That's activated. Uh, wake up action. Sorry. So, if you do this, blah blah, you then this, and you go this. Damn it! He punished me. He punished my jump. No, he didn't. Let's look at it again. What happened over there? He actually went in a special state called reversal. Reversal is when you input the last command, part of the command, at the first frame you, your character can do something. It looks like this. As you can see, it says reversal. See? Red. Reversal. So, there is some situations when people have advantage of you because they can move before you. See, I can move before you. A couple of frames. Well, not a couple of frames. Couple, like fractions of a second. So technically, I could, I could do this. I could press a button before you. But the thing with that move, that EX move, the EX wake up move, is that it's invincible on the first frames. So if I press this, and try to press something, I'm gonna get punished. So what's what's the catch? The catch is that those moves are usually very unsafe. So if you block it, you can punish it. No questions asked. Let's see if we can punish it with heavy punch. No, no heavy punch. Okay. Another punish. So those are the things you need to uh, take into account. All right. So back to the three combos. You need one light combo. I rec. I um. Usually a one light combo that's useful is that one. Light into your uh, easiest command that is safe on block. Whatever that is. Never do Tatsus, never do DPs, just... Just protect out. That would be... Basic. Perfect. But that move is really unsafe. Maybe I should punish with something more heavy. Not with the light attack, the medium attack. There it is. Medium combo. Maybe I can punish with a heavy attack. Can I? Oh, crap. I can. There it is. So I have three combos. So with those three combos, I can now start. Can I punish this? Okay, I can punish that with that. Perfect. Can I punish it with medium? Yes. Therefore, I can do this. See? Can I punish with heavy? I can punish with heavy. And I can do that. They have three combos. So, and the other thing, this is a final lesson. If you are faced with an opponent that is very weird on wake up, you don't know what he's gonna do, just block. Watch it, watch this. His wake up action is gonna be a grab now. Okay, reversal grab. Alright. This. Okay. Come on. Did it grab? Did I activate it? Oh, there it is. Alright. So, to this. I got grabbed. And I was doing the exact same thing. So how do you deal with that? This is the space. 
You need to wait. All right, got all stand. All right, let's kick. You're very close, right? I was blocking. Let's keep on blocking. Kick, nice. Blocking. I got grabbed again. How do I deal with this? So grabs have a range. As you can see, even if I'm touching the, the polygons, I cannot grab. I have to get closer. Even closer. See? So, all ranges have, all um, characters have different ranges on grab. But usually this range over here will allow you to block something. And also they will whiff their attack. Let's, let's see this. See? See? They cannot attack you. And you're blocking. You have to be blocking. See? So that is your standard behavior for wake up. Don't fish for stuff. Don't try to throw stuff on your own. Just wait and punish. Punish. And I got kicked. Why? Because I got to antsy and I dashed and I got grabbed. Uh, that's a punish. Alright, we wait and see. If we get dashy, we get punished. So, remember, this space. Is a, is, this is just safe space, man. Punished. Punished. Safe space. Punish. Punish again. Punish. See? That's how it works. So. Block and punish. Block and punish. And final. This is a final lesson. This is a real, real final lesson. Anti-airing is paramount. With whatever character you use, there is a button you can use to stop anti-air. To stop, I'm sorry, to stop air attacks. Like this. Oh. All right, so let's make this play by recording. So this, need, you need to put it into memory. You go into action recording settings. You set this one. You jump and immediately when you land, you have to be facing diagonal into kick. Like this. All right. So. Let's put that one. Okay. And then you start doing this. Crouching heavy punch with Kage. So that way you don't happen to do this. Trade. See? You don't want this to happen. You want this to happen. And certainly you don't want that to happen. So you want this to happen. Not that. So this is when every time you see them jump, you need to go for this. And it should be a no fly zone. So, but how am I going to react to this jump? As you can see, that jump is only possible at that distance. This distance. At this distance, you cannot do anything. You're going to get punished, man. But at this distance, you can punish that jump. So this is the first exercise you need to start doing. And what's the need to jump for? For you to get a hold of the timing of your button. So that again, this doesn't happen. And this doesn't happen. Same thing, crouch and heavy punch. Crouch and heavy punch one. Exactly the same thing. So, wrap, wrapping things up. After you do that, then the next time 
you record another action without the neutral jump. So that way you start anti-airing without react, with starting with the training reaction rather than the timing. The timing you already got it. You need the timing of the jump, reaction of the jump, reacting to the space. So if the space is there, you need to expect a jump. So you need to do crouching heavy punch in your mind if he jumps. Boom. No fly zone. So when that happens, they're going to start getting very, very antsy. Very, very antsy. And then they're going to start doing very unsafe stuff. DPs, uh, Tatsus or whatever. And then you start with your three light combos. You start with the light, start with the medium. If you can do the medium, then start with the heavy, you can do the heavy. If you do a heavy and you get punished, when you press a heavy button, you cannot do a heavy. You can do just a medium. And then you do every time you do the same thing, medium, medium combo, all the same time. Same combo each and every time. Why? Because this would get, get committed to your muscle memory. And when that happens, it's going to be automatic. You see that situation? Automatic. Combo. Punish. You're, you're not going to even see the punishes, my friend. You're going to see your opponent crashing onto the ground after you just did your magic. And that's it. That's all I can say. I think we can get go into uh, ranked again. And uh, be sure to uh, check the Discord.